Hey, it's Liam Killen. This is a quick tip video on how to route and clean up your reverb. We'll be getting into how I set it up, a little walkthrough, and also a before and after with and without reverb at the end of the video. This technique is super straightforward and it applies on any DAW. In this example, we'll be using Valhalla Vintage Reverb as well as FabFilter Pro Q2. And here's the track we'll be working with. get straight into routing, the trick is to organize your tracks into instruments or stacks. Like this, so I've got drums all organized into one track, same with vocals, synth, and bass. What I've done in the past is I've used reverb for everything, which definitely is an option, but it kind of muddies up your track and you don't have as much variation on your reverb. So if you really want to clean up your reverb and also have that variation, the best thing to do is to use different reverbs for each stack. So we'll do that starting with the drums. I'm going to send it to an empty bus, let's say bus 14 drum reverb, and I'm gonna head down to Valhalla. For vocals, I'll use a different preset, same thing, bus 15, it's an empty bus, Valhalla, and there's a preset here called Amazing Vocal. And I'll do the same thing for synth. A little side note here, if you need help with bus routing, specifically in Logic Pro 10, I actually have another video on that, so linked up above and also in the description. We're all routed properly here, so let's differentiate each of these reverbs even more. We're gonna EQ each of them starting with drums, so FabFilter Pro Q2. For the drums, I'm gonna cut all the lows, maybe up till 100. I'm also gonna cut a lot of the low mids. I don't want the kick to have low end reverb because that's a big contributor to muddying up your tracks. Same with the low mids. As a general rule, I usually cut quite a bit of those in my reverbs. I'll cut some of the highs as well. Let's say down to 12K-ish. We'll go down to our synth track stack and do a similar thing. Bus 16, EQ. I'm gonna cut all the lows because they just don't need to be there. Low mids and some of the highs, maybe not too much though. As for vocals, I'm just gonna cut the low end and low mids. I'm deciding not to add any reverb to the bass because I already have like a slap echo sort of effect. We're gonna leave that as is. Next, I'm gonna add a moderate amount of reverb to each of these tracks. Drums, vocals, synth. From what I've gathered from this, I want the drums to be quite dry, so I'm gonna leave the reverb low. Vocals, I'm gonna be using quite a bit of reverb because there's just one shots here and there. It'd be nice to have them nice and reverbed out. As for synth. It just sounds more vibey with a bit of reverb on it. It's always good to experiment and dig into what type of reverb you use on each track, so I encourage you to do that. And yeah, that concludes this video, tips on how to clean up your reverb. Thank you guys so much for watching. A lot of my other videos are a bit more in depth, but I also like to do these quick tip type of videos that are straight to the point. Do all the things, hit all the buttons if you're into this sort of content, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.